Hello everyone. We are in week four, and today I am going to discuss second problem from the library's problem set, that is Frank Ian Glenn's letter. I have already created a solution video for Emoji's first problem from this set, and all the problems in week zero, one, two, and three. If you have not watched them, I will give the link of the playlist into the description box, and you can click on to that and go and watch that. A quick disclaimer before I start this video. This video is only for educational purposes. Now let us get into what the problem is stating here. The problem is called figlet.py where we have to create the, this file figlet.py and we need to import a particular python module called pyfiglet much like that in case of <coughs> emojis we have imported something called emoji if you see here. Uh, so let me go back to the uh, figlet.py <coughs> back to here and that program or that file it should expect either a zero line command zero command line argument or two command line argument so slowly we are moving towards the command line arguments in case of zero command line argument then the output should be in a random font which we need to pick up from this model pi figlet in case user has input two uh, command line arguments then the first of them should be either hyphen f or double hyphen font and the second part should be the name of the font and that font should be available into this particular model called pi figlet and then we have to prompt the user for a string of text so we are not we have not completely gone towards the C CLI where we are taking the arguments as well here we are just going to accept either zero command then in that very case a random font in case of two we have to output the text into that particular format or font to be precise and the input from the user need to be still accepted through the input parameter input function and in case the user provides two command line arguments and the first is not hyphen f or double hyphen font or the second part of the name is not the name of the font then the program should exit via sys.exit so if i come down over here if you see here if this in this example python figlet.py that is fine but the first argument here is that hyphen a let me highlight it hyphen a it should be either hyphen f or hyphen hyphen font so in this very case our program should exit via sys.exit and at the same time should print a message error message invalid uses and same is the case if let us check this one if the font is not in the pipe library in that very case again we should be exiting via sys.exit and printing the error message in valid uses with this background let us get into the coding part i am already here into the figlet directory and let us start coding but before coding let us see, see couple of things here uh, first of all hints you have to install the pipe figlet using this line of command pip install pyfiglet i have copied it and i am just going to do it here it should be installed into my directory because i have already finished it so downloading okay anyway it was successfully installed here you see it has been successfully installed so here i am in figlet directory you can see it over here and i am going to start writing the program first thing first as I have said earlier also this is going to be a tricky problem because the documentation is not very clear and this has been stated by into the problem itself here you can see it here the documentation for a pipe figlet is not very clear I am going to copy this line from here and paste it into my code but I need some more libraries here because we have in case of 
in case the user does not input anything apart from the uh, program name <coughs> we have to output it in a random font so we need to have the random library and we have to exit in case of invalid choices using sys.exit so we need to have this sys library as well so let us import these two import sys and then we have to import random in fact we can do it in a single line and let us do that only so here we have done yeah yeah so now the next part here is that i have to get the list of all the fonts which are available into the pyfiglet module so this is the line you can get uh, here if you see you can get the list of all the available fonts with the code like this so let us copy this and i am going to store all the the list of all the fonts into a variable called fonts so far so good next part i am going to do is that i am going to check the length uh -huh, the length that the user has entered what i mean here is that if the user has entered only like this python fillet.py in that very case i have to output it in a random font or if the user has put given the input like this using slash f not slash f hyphen f and slant so the length here is figlet.py is 1 hyphen f is 2 and this slant makes it 3 and here it is just 1 figlet.py so i am going to check the length here first and we can do that using sys.argv if it is equal to equal to 1 then what do we do then i am going to again borrow from here you can set the font with a quote like this wherein f is the font's name as a star or a string so let me copy this line again from here and put it here but since the font name is not supplied we have to use a random font so i am going to write here random dot choice and from where we have to choose the font we have already stored the list of all the available font into fonts variable fonts so this part we have done next part i am going to check here is that if the length is equal to 3 so what essentially essentially i am saying here is that now the user is entering something like this python the name of the program figlet.py then either hyphen f or double hyphen f font and the name of the font here yeah so this is here next part that we have to check here is two if the user likes to output text in a specific font in which case the first of the two should be hyphen f or double hyphen font so now i am going to check that so we can do something like that we can put another if inside it and we can say uh, say sys dot argv and this is going to be at what index if we come over here this is at figlet dot by name of the program is at index 0 S hyphen f or double hyphen font it will be at high index 1 so i am going to put here index in we can do something like that is equal to equal to oops or sys dot arg v square brackets equal to equal to font or we can uh, okay let me finish first here and then the third part we have to check here is that if it is available into the list of fonts or not that is the third part otherwise we have to exit using the sys.exit so if second part is not the name and second part second of the two should be the name of the font in case second is not the name of a font then the program should exit via sys.exit with an error message if you see this line so we can then 
इनपुट है सिस डॉट आर वी नॉट इन फॉन्ट्स देन वी हैव टू एग्जिट बट रैदर देन नेस्टिंग सो मेनी लाइन्स ऑफ इफ्स एंड अगेन इफ्स वी कैन डू इट इन वन सिंगल लाइन एंड दैट इज वॉट आई एम गोइंग टू डू इट हियर आई एम गोइंग टू राइट हियर एंड एंड आई एम एंड हियर आई एम गोइंग टू चेक फॉर दिस थिंग ना दिस पार्ट सो वॉट आई एम गोइंग टू डू हियर इज दैट एंड सिस डॉट आर वी इंडेक्स वन एंड आई एम नॉट गोइंग टू यूज टू पार्ट आई एम गोइंग टू यूज द मेम्बरशिप चेक नॉट इन this or double hyphen font so now we do not need this line this is irrelevant now for us similarly i am going to do another check over here here is that sys dot arg v index to in fonts i am using it in a mm -hmm, what i am doing here like this hmm, we don't yeah if second part is in the fonts so what i am saying here is if let us come down here if this slant it is all if it is in this fonts variable or not if it is there then what we have to do we have to print it out into the that particular font so how do we do that again we have to copy this line from the hints uh, font is equal to f i am going to copy this line here and let me put it over here but now this time font is going to be what our font is going to be the one that is supplied in sys dot arg v here this is the name of our font if you see it here slant so this part is done both the conditions have been checked now the, the last part is that if the oops what did i write here else we have to exit it with a message an error message invalid uses oh in valid uses u is in capital or a small invalid uses here you see okay it is in u is in a small case lower case so i have written it correctly so now we have checked everything now it is time that we accept the input from the user you remember initially what i had said is that we have moved towards the command line interface but not yet fully because we are still accepting the user input using the input function so i am going to say here input and we are going to say here input let's give it like this and then we have to print how do we print let us come back again to the hints here okay let me copy this whole line from here and put it here yeah so this is it and instead of s we have to make it user input render text and that should be it so if i try to run now let us check it figlet.py so let us come back to the demo video first thing is that we have not we are not supplying any further argument we are just putting the name of the input what is the input that is given over here hello comma world hello comma world oh wonderful here you see it is let me put it a little up over here clear the terminal next one is by hyphen f slant so let's copy this line and paste it over here and what is the input that is given here input is this again hello world let's do that hello world 
now let us check something from here mm. run your i am going to run this line run your program with python figlet.py test and we should be exiting using sys.exit invalid uses so python figlet.py test invalid uses because in the second part we have not given hyphen f or double hyphen font and the name of the font again the next one is that here it is saying python figlet.py hyphen a and then slant again it should exit with the invalid uses because this part is not valid here either it should be hyphen f or double hyphen font invalid uses wonderful so far so good the next one is the asking us to test here this again invalid font is not a valid font so it is not a stored here so in this very case again we should be exiting using invalid uses wonderful now the next line is that here and we have to print cs50 here you see i think that that is enough of the check now let us straight away jump into i am not going to check these remaining two cases i am straight away jumping to do the cs50 checks here by the time it is <laughs> fetching the results i have started to come up with the videos related to python basics and i have published eight or nine videos related to python strings lists their associated methods and tuples and its associated methods i will share the link of python basic playlist also into the description box so you can go and check it out so now coming back to the test results so here you see everything is in green it means that this our line of codes meet all the requirements from cs50 and we are good to submit so this was it for this video so if you find this video helpful consider giving it a like subscribing to my channel and share it with your friends who are pursuing cs50 till that time happy coding